Good afternoon. We are so happy that you're here. We vlog every day. So if you like this video, we hope that you will come back tomorrow. Um, James is napping. Peter is working. I am editing. Um, we've had a good Monday so far. We are playing a little bit of catch up. Kind of like really switched gears after deciding not to go to Florida. Um, just this weekend and so I am ready to like make the most fun out of like the winter and the spring and so I know I've asked for winter suggestions before but I'd also like to hear if you guys want to see anything specific in Chicago but I'm getting that situated today too just like a list of things that we want to do and just like being intentional so we're motivated we're feeling good do not be fooled we are very sad about not going like very sad and can't stop bringing it up um but you know us we're gonna make the most of it We got housewarming gifts. I'll explain when I get outside a little bit more, but my whole jewel is getting under construction and like nothing is where it's supposed to be. Who does that? I mean, I guess it's good that it's going to be better once they're done with construction, but I'm all thrown off. I'm all bothered. I got salt, bread, and sparkling wine underneath there. We're going to do the classic It's a Wonderful Life housewarming gifts for Christina and Grant. Yes, they've been living in their house for months and months, but it's nearing completion of renovation so better late than never so my work day is wrapped up i'm gonna i wanted to come grab this and some plant-based brats because they're having brats and sauerkraut for dinner um so i just walked over to jewel while sarah was finishing up editing the vlog i'm gonna get back and we're gonna get packed up and head south for the night because we like we've only seen christine and the family like once in the past like since before we had covid after my birthday when the petruses were here wild all right yeah so it's the old classic it's a wonderful life housewarming gift where you say bread so your home may know never know hunger salt so that life will always be flavorful and wine in this case sparkling wine um so that life will always bring you joy and happiness i think and wine that joy and prosperity may reign forever enter the martini castle we tend to do that this is a little gift for our friends and family whenever they um move into a new home like I said, these people have been in the home for a while, but like they're finally getting settled, like kitchen's done. The only thing they're doing left for renovations, I believe, is new windows, which they have, but because, you know, stuff like that, there's a little bit of delay there. But uh, it's a heat wave today, 33 degrees, which means we're one degree above freezing, which means all of the beautiful snow is turning into dirty sludge. So, you know, one step forward, one step back kind of day, but. It feels nice at being 33. I feel like a Chicago one again saying that. Wait a minute. Humanity's best weapon. Ooh! Do you know what this is? Is it a video game? Is it a movie? TV series. Yes, what is it? Halo? Yep. Yes. I have zero concept about what Halo is. <gasps> Oh. I am amazed. It is 4.30. 4.27. The sun's not down still. There's hope in the world. Look at that skyline. And my heart didn't break as much that day. Hour later. Look at that. I was all pumped. The sun was up. Sun's down. Almost. Almost. But over an hour later, we're finally in Evergreen Park. Oh, I forget how much I loathe the Dan Ryan. It's worse than I 4. I'd rather drive I 4 than Dan Ryan. And I mean that. I think it's because you're covering more distance on I 4. Like, you feel like you're accomplishing something. But, like, we only live. 
right, like slow on the Dan Ryan is literally six miles an hour. Slow on I-4 is still like 25. Jamesy goes straight for the balloons. <laughs> At Dis Disney World? How was Disney World? One of the great things about Kristen and Grant taking over the house is that the covered natural gas fed grill is basically usable year round. So I'm heating this up even though it's 35 degrees out to grill some brats, real brats and plant-based brats all together. James is getting Luca. Hey, here we go. Grills at like 500 degrees. You can see my breath. I got a cup of coffee and an espresso pad. So the bigger ones with the darker color are the Beyond Sausage, I guess, brats. And then the four on the outer that are lighter are like genuine Bavarian brats. So we're gonna get these going. They're pretty much the same cooking time for both. Christina is making some sauerkraut on the inside. Um, she, she, the whole reason why we're doing this is because she didn't get one in Epcot at World Showcase. And so she was like, you know what, that's what we're doing tonight. I'm making it at home because I didn't get it when we were in Florida because they just got back yesterday from their Disney World trip. Um, so, time to grill it up. The real ones, I gotta do this quick because it's 35 degrees out, so this is gonna start dropping heat. These are the thawed Beyond Sausage brats. Give them a couple more minutes, we'll give them a turn. Look at that, dropped 150 degrees in just a little bit. But I mean, that's not, that's not too crazy. Um, I just love, so the gas line comes from the wall and it comes from the house here. Powers this and powers the garage here. Greatest thing, Sarah's uh, dad, uncles, and grandfather did do this house, I think. Note to self, you don't have to cook the plant-based ones as long as they're real thing. <laughs> <laughs> did you have a good dinner? You ate like half your body weight. Pumbaa's back too. James is teething his last couple teeth, so he's chewing on a car. James discovered Violet's room. And I forgot that like the door is here so I could close the door and keep Pumbaa away. Yeah. Those are a little tiny for you to be playing with. Do you want to play with the Barbies? The little dolls in the box? Oh, you're a big kid. Very busy. Blackberry, even though um, the Sicards have lived here for quite some time, all their renovations were housewarming cheersing tonight. Ooh, even Luca. <laughs> hey, <quiet. laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Evie's happy little. Well. There's nothing like an Evie greeting. Magic mail. Oh my goodness. I don't think we've mentioned this. We have not. So, not sure if a lot of you know this, but many people who go through um, fertility treatments, their insurance might not cover it. Evie, are you okay? Um... And so a lot of people like crowdfund or just do different fundraisers for themselves. Um, and Peter found this, Grow Through What You Go Through from Kelsey's Life. She also has a YouTube channel. I didn't um, know that. Yeah. And um, it's a really cute design. And he got this nice sweatshirt. And also a coffee mug. Yeah. And what's cool is like, Something like this quote can be for anything, like not just somebody who is going through fertility treatments or, you know, anything of that sort. So then it's really cool for the person like who is doing the fun, like the, the fundraising that a lot of the times the shirts like have to do with like IVF or 
IUI like specific things or like quotes about that. Like I know somebody that we follow that we have a sweatshirt from, like I got my angel mama stuff from and like that's like specific to like other infertility warriors buying it. But it's cool then like this is a little bit more like like other people who still like want to support these people. Mm -hmm can proudly wear these designs that like can are kind of a little bit more like anyone can can, yeah. can relate and i actually saw this on instagram i usually don't go on the it's a baby workout project mm -hmm. um instagram i feel like that was you know an outlet for sarah at first and then after we lost sweet pea like i really didn't want to ever go on that instagram because we there is a lot of like sad and tragic stories and supportive mm -hmm. stories too um but one of the days that I was actually looking through it, I saw this Instagram, the this, this shop's account doing like a paired giveaway, but it was this design, but in like a, like the tin mug enamel. version, enamel mug, which I like would have preferred, but she's not selling like that. So this is just as good. Yeah. Um, but I took a screenshot of it. because so I was like, I like that. I want to buy that, but I wasn't okay then. And like, if you've been watching us for a while, like you knew we've opened up more about like our emotional struggles, my emotional struggles during that time after losing Sweet Pea. Um, and my phone on the on my my iPhone has like the little photos widget, which will like randomly bring up old photos mm -hmm. from your iCloud account or whatever. And I was, oh, I forgot what photo it was, but it popped up like five days ago and I went to go look at it. And I, I just got to scrolling through photos of like that same time. And it was like the time of us losing Sweet Pea. And I could just like tell from the videos and photos that they're like, on my face like i was like oh that was my that was like the dark dark time mm -hmm. and i was scrolling continuing scrolling looking through photos of what we were doing and whatnot and that screenshot i took of this design popped up and i was like i wonder if that girl still has that shop mm -hmm. and she has actually since had a successful transfer and her baby was born at the end of last year so she has um her little one in her arms and so that's like it's cool. interesting yeah to think of like where she was at that moment mm -hmm. and just like how much time and like you never truly know like how things are gonna work out things will work out when they'll work out how they'll work out um so thanks for getting these because i'm gonna use them both too <laughs> <laughs> jamesy has successfully transferred we've been like hit or miss with sleep with these tvs coming in um but he has a 15 month appointment tomorrow i um, just gotta get good rest what did we decide we're gonna start doing tomorrow <laughs> during this year of reflection and <laughs> year of savings, savings <laughs> and a year of not i like i like saying boring but like i need another word for boring like a year of I need to listen to your videos, your motivational yeah, videos. videos. I don't hate your videos. I just don't like them because I have sensory overload. I yeah. listen to some motivational Gross. videos. Yeah, and a lot of them are like, can sound like they're yelling at you. Yeah. So we decided we're going to start waking up early. Start waking up early. Start waking up at the same time. Mm -hmm. Both of us. Yeah. It's easier for Support. to sleep in sometimes. It's easier for me to skip my alarms when... Sarah isn't getting up either. Yeah. Um, so we're going to get up at the same time. Mm hmm. Support each other. We don't want to like put too much on our plates at once. So we're just like, our goal is to wake up. Get out of bed. Get out of bed. And other things will Probably. come. Like yes. Reading. I don't know. Uh, Peter's been running, and we'll talk more about your running maybe tomorrow. But like, training. And I have not been as, like, active in this pregnancy, and I feel it. And so I'd love... You can start any time. Yeah. Start now. I didn't even... Did I show you my cute braids today? You didn't even say anything I didn't say them. they're gorgeous. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me... It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.